Natalie Mordovzeva has transformed from being one of the most disliked stars from 90 Day Fiancé to a fan favorite. Known for her brutal honesty and impossibly high standards, Natalie voices some of the most iconic quotes in the show. After two seasons on the reality series, Natalie and her now ex-husband, Mike, went on to be featured in 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, before ultimately breaking up. Natalie is now happily single and has most recently been filming for 90 Day Fiancé, The Single Life. Viewers are eager for more of Natalie's outspoken personality and sassy one-liners as the Ukrainian beauty embarks on a new journey. Natalie on cheating.its funny, because I'm much more beautiful than you. Mike's relationship with his best friend and former roommate, Sarah, was a constant thorn in Natalie's side. She accused Mike of cheating after he spent the night at Sarah's house while Natalie was still in Ukraine. Dot over the phone, Mike explained that Sarah's wedding was the following morning and, as her best man, had gone to her house the evening before to help prepare. But Natalie wasn't buying Mike's story and his fidelity became a point of contention for Natalie until their relationship finally ended. Natalie firmly believed she should be made to feel jealous by Mike since, according to her, she was the more attractive one in the relationship. Natalie on Mike. A low class drunk man. Natalie doesn't drink alcohol, and she didn't appreciate Mike drinking it while they were together. In one particular argument, she accused him of being drunk while they cooked dinner together. She also called him and his ex wife low class and later questioned his IQ. As usual, Mike became cold and distant when Natalie started calling him names, but he did manage to hold his own in the argument. When Mike suggested Natalie might not be as high class as she acted, she began to cry. This instance wasn't the first or last time Natalie would imply Mike wasn't on her level. Natalie on love. Okay, I love Mike, and what? It means nothing. It's just words. In what was easily one of the most awkward interviews in the history of 90 Day Fiancé, producers asked Natalie if she loves Mike. She proceeds to pause for nearly 20 seconds before responding. Mike, who is sitting next to her, appears visibly uncomfortable and annoyed. Her response, however, doesn't help the already cringeworthy situation. It is clear that Natalie is searching for a tangible change for Mike, not empty words. This quote is one of the many instances in which she insists that actions speak louder than words, especially when it comes to love a theme that is constant in their relationship. Natalie on breakfast. I will just eat my carrot in the corner. When Natalie first arrived, Mike made a French toast breakfast for her and had very limited healthy options in the fridge. Natalie was upset and felt that Mike should have shopped for food that better fit her active lifestyle. Natalie can be very matter of fact, but she can also be passive aggressive to the point of humor. Contrary to popular belief, she knows how to prove her point without arguing. Natalie quietly peeling a giant carrot at the kitchen counter while Mike ate a plate full of French toast and syrup at the table was comical to watch. He definitely got the message and knew he was in trouble. Natalie on Uncle Bo. I am sorry, I will not keep in touch with you. Sometimes Natalie's blunt personality makes her come across as one of the rudest 90 Day Fiancé cast members, but her honesty can also be refreshing. When Natalie packs her bags and threatens to go back to Ukraine, Uncle Bo helps her load her belongings into the truck. 
and an almost heartwarming interaction between the two, who got off to a rocky start when Natalie demanded he move out of the house upon her arrival. She almost seems to be making amends for not seeing eye to eye with Mike's uncle. But then he tells her to keep in touch, and she replies flatly that she won't be doing that. Natalie calls things as she sees them, and even though her avoidance of pleasantries can be jarring, her truthful nature must be applauded. Natalie on the K1 visa process. Wh why 90 days? Who invented this 90 days? Why not half a year? Natalie has questions for whoever structured the K-1 visa process. During her time on the show, she regularly went back and forth between wondering if Mike was a bad match for her, wanting to spend her life with him, and wishing they had additional time to make up their minds. To be fair, Mike also waffled on the decision more than once. This quote hints at many of the deeper issues of her indecision. She needed more time to find common ground with Mike. They had different perspectives on practically everything. But for much of their time on the show, Natalie believed they could work it out, they just needed more than 90 days. Natalie on her new home. This house looks like it's for movies. It's like from horror movies. I just hate horror movies. They say first impressions are everything, and that seems to be especially true when it comes to Natalie's first impression of Mike's own. When Natalie arrives at the house for the first time, she compares it to something out of a horror movie. She continues to find negative things to say about it as time passes including that it's too cold and too secluded. It is possible that Natalie's feelings about the house are valid considering she moved from the large, urban area of Kiv to a small town in the woods of Sequim, Washington. But her response definitely sets the stage for her to harbor resentment over the house. Natalie on carbs. I don't want you to eat pasta at night, I'm sorry. Natalie isn't one to choose her battles. Every battle is hers, and if she had to choose, she'd choose them all. Her stubbornness is apparent early on in the couple's journey, when she begins micromanaging what Mike can and can't eat, and when. But it is this devastating blow about night pasta that really creates a sour tone with regard to future communication issues. On the show, Natalie is regularly too controlling when it comes to Mike trying to enjoy seemingly insignificant things, such as his midnight snack. Mike becomes angry and refuses to acknowledge her intent, however misplaced it may be, in this case, she was concerned for his health, and finally, Mike shuts down and ignores Natalie, causing her to double down on her initial comment. Natalie on marriage. I am your lovely wifey. Your pain in the butt. Even during the couple's more tender moments, Natalie is unapologetically truthful. In an episode of Happily Ever After, she puts together a special birthday meal for Mike, complete with champagne. During a birthday toast, she mentions that she's his lovely wifey and his pain in the butt. Dot, dot, Natalie is smart, and even when she's being sweet, she antagonizes Mike by pointing out she's fully aware of her difficult behavior, and she's likely not going to stop doing it. But in Natalie's defense, Mike isn't exactly easy to get along with either, so she can't be blamed entirely for their issues. Natalie on Mike's mom so bye. See you never. Uncle Bo isn't Mike's only family member to receive a curt goodbye for Natalie. After a stressful visit with Mike's mother, Trish, Natalie decides she's had enough and attempts to cut the visit short by leaving. During a happily ever after interview about the incident, she shows viewers she hasn't changed her mind about her ex mother in law when she announces, so bye.
See you never. Dot Natalie is nothing if she isn't brutally honest. In this case, it's hard to fault Natalie for her reaction. After all, Trish did try to gaslight her at every possible opportunity and allegedly called her a hooker 